I want to get Matt's reaction. Oh, don't even. I mean, I think that General Lee's no. horse was so high you could see his body. <laughs> I'm telling you. Come right, right here. If you come right here, maybe. I'm telling you, it's hard well, to get pictures. To get the same picture. That's why I tell everybody they got to come see it for themselves. Those big balls. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at those things. They're like huge. Uh, they're definitely more noticeable on this horse than they were on the other. Yeah. I hate to say it. Yeah. And we gotta point to the other direction like we did last time. Yeah, hi Robert. Yeah, I saw your video. Um, I don't know what church you were at, but that was a pretty interesting video. So you're live too, right? I'm live. All right, so we're live on the brute, and we're gonna be live on our channel. We're gonna be live in Switch Store. So you're going to bring your channel up to speed about what the debate has been on? So, yeah. Well, everybody knows because, like, I usually... They know you, but I'm just... Well, yeah. we're talking about it now. So, yeah. Right. So, I... Every time I come here, I tell people they need to see General uh, Meade's horse's balls. I say they're huge. I've never seen balls on a, on a monument horse like this anywhere. So, we looked at Lee's... Lee's horse traveler um i'm sorry but the but the monument whoever made it made it look like he had a vagina i'm not even kidding you but when you see these things they're like i don't know how i don't know how he walked how the horse walked without without being like he was he on a horse himself like <laughs> i mean i think he needed like something like a satchel or something to hold them while they were <laughs> and so we've taken Prob <laughs> it probably helped <laughs> Yeah. So the guys watched their horse live today. We were we were over there on the other side. Where Lee and Yeah. Yeah, Robert, I'm actually gonna share that video. I just I really think that was really cool. It's very interesting. I was gonna ask you a question about it. Um because it looked like the antenna was high, but then I realized when the Mel I think you said it was a millimeter or a REM pod. I can't remember which one you said, but it looked like it fell over. And what I thought was the antenna um, was still kind of on the wall, but then it disappeared. So. So I'm at a picket's charge with my friends from Tennessee. Uh, they're Gettysburg virgins. And uh, I love Gettysburg virgins. I love taking them around the park. Uh, are you talking about the, the church? Robert? Um, but, uh, so I've been, so I've been here since Friday with them. I have been here every weekend since June. Uh, I mean, if you've never been to Gettysburg, you got to come to Gettysburg. It's amazing. Yeah, it shot right down onto the antenna and knocked over the pod. Salutes to your friends in Tennessee. Thank you. I'll let them know. Yes, the church. What church is it? And I saw you were from Harrisburg, so I don't know. But uh, I was just wondering. 
That was a, that was a really cool video. I showed my, my friends from Tennessee. They're with SRS Paranormal. And we watched it probably six, seven times. And we were like, wow, that's pretty cool. We thought it was a pretty cool video. Unexplainable for sure. Because in my head, I'm thinking, what kind of bug would be able to knock a REM pod over? And they were saying they've never had anything strong enough to knock a haggers down. I don't know what they're talking about. They're live on their page. But, um... I'm going to see if they want to go down and do an EVP session at Meade's headquarters. Did I walk through this? Ugh. Hi, babe. You guys want to walk down to Meade's headquarters? Yeah, let's do it. We'll do a little, EV down we'll do a little okay. EVP session. So the guy that shared that sh Robert Brandt, the guy that showed, he said, first of all, he said, Hey, he said, tell your boys from Tennessee. Hi. So he's telling me that. Yeah. Cause we were talking about the, you know, I was asking about the video. He said they got to keep on. Oh, here it is. Let me see. So we're walking down to me headquarters. There wasn't any bugs. We tried to debunk it for an hour, but yeah, it was a great night. Cool about your Tennessee buds being in the paranormal field. Okay guys. Have a great, have a blast. Hey, D. So this is My babe is watching. It's hot, babe. Look at Matt. It's scrub. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Like, it's so hot. It's so bad. It's so hot. Oh, that breeze feels good. They, they weren't walking towards each other. The union was waiting. They were just. Yeah, they were just standing here waiting. They were coming up. At they them, were right? seeing them they just walking them. straight forward, and the union was like, "What are we watching?" And you really can't like see it from here. I mean, on on, on video, but if like if I hey, turns Dave. around and shows, love you. So this is like the entire position. You kind of see that on video, yeah. but if they were just up here along this this ridge line, essentially, as it, it's no wonder it, it was like they were coming up across that field, crossing that field, and coming up, and the union watched it. Like Terrence said, saying, "What are they doing?" Well, and then there's Lee's monument. And start ticking them off. It's yeah. Just, there's no cover. It's, just, the, it's a barrel. They're, they're, in, there were, they're in a fish barrel. Well, there was, there was a lot of, you know, unions that said they were closing their eyes and looking away and shooting because they were so, uh, I don't know what word I'm looking for, but they, the, 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 the bravery of the Confederates doing what they were doing, everybody but Lee knew that it was a death sentence to do what they did. Right. So the Confederate or the Union, like there was, there's, it's like written in the, you know, and stuff where they said they were like closing their eyes and shooting because they didn't want to shoot them. And they were begging, they were yelling to them to just surrender. Stop. Like just right. surrender. We don't want to, we don't want to shoot you, cause you, you know, and, and they just kept coming. So they were. And that's probably what Longstreet looking at this. That's probably why Longstreet didn't want to do it. He's probably like, it's, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. I don't know if they can see over there. It's kind of far away. You can zoom in a little bit now, right? Yeah. Show them Pennsylvania. Yeah. They told us something really cool about that that I didn't realize. Because last time I was here, I just drove through. Oh, yeah. There you go. But, so, at the, bat, at the base, Taryn, right? Everybody yep. Everybody from Pennsylvania that fought here at Gettysburg is on that monument, right? All the, well, the whole entire, all around the bottom. And so, they're probably like four foot by four foot plaques. That has the and it's full of names and the names are tiny. I mean, goes by regiments and ranks and 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 flanks and companies and but there's so many names. And to give you a scale of size, like there's stairs you can walk up into it and you can see the cars parked next to it. I mean it's it's a building. I wouldn't even call it a monument. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a freaking structure. Yeah. <laughs> well, Pete, and you can walk up up to the to the top and look over. Yeah, you can go up there, yep, and look over, yep. So now we're going to walk down to Meade's headquarters, right? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. We're going to walk down to Meade's headquarters.
this poor woman lived in this house with like 12 children and Mead came and was like, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> we need it. You and your kids. So, yeah. so she like went to like her, somebody's house, like, like two, like two towns over or something. Hey, how you doing? Hi, but, uh, yeah, Lydia, Lydia Leiser. They just came and now the barn is as well, you know, obviously they did some. Renovation. renovation but it is if you look at the photos like it is how it stood um there's still bolt holes in it and all that fun stuff Taryn you were saying that they're really working hard right now to kind of put all of this is back as accurate as it could be absolutely so like we went by Lee's headquarters and there used to be hotels there Right. They've removed those now, right, to try to put it back how it was when Lee was actually there. Right over here used to be a humongous cyclorama, huge building that you could go in. Yeah. Um, okay. They took that down. Um, yeah, they're just... So Lee's headquarters was just 200 yards from the front line. Mead. Mead. What I say, Lee? You said Lee. Uh, yeah, it's alright, we'll forgive you. Me. <laughs> the Yankee. <laughs> what was he saying? Well. But, Lee did think he was further out. Oh, really? That's why he was, when he, they, when they were shooting the cannon, they, they thought that right it was going they over. over the ridge, yeah. They were over one time I walked, I walked up to this farm. I'm not even kidding you. I go around to the barn this way and there's a baby deer sitting there, standing there. I was like, where the fuck is your mama? <laughs> I was like. That's an apple tree. Where is your mama? So as stated before, the, resurre the, the cannon straight up it's a general headquarters. And you know what? Well, he had the nicer headquarters. He did. He I picked mean, a better house. He had picked a better house. Yeah. Well. But it didn't help him. Uh, didn't help, help him uh, 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 be a little more comfortable in defeat, I guess. So this is Mickey's headquarters. Right yeah. Here. Well. I would totally move into this house. I'm not kidding. Wow. So yeah, you can almost imagine him sitting out here, right? And like playing, yeah. like strategizing and talking. There's not, things weighing on his mind about what was coming. Can you see? I don't know if you guys can see in there. Are you serious? Sure Motherfucker. Where? Where? On my leg. I just pulled them off and tossed them. I always knock on the door. I, I always knock on the door hoping to get a knock back. See you guys later. Thank you for tuning in. I'm hot. Alright. What do you guys want to do? We're, well, we're going to go. Are we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are we doing taps or are we going to eat or are we going to.
do it all the time. Hello? Can we come in? No. I always hope I will, but I never do. D, we'll be at Selma Saturday. One of these days, right? What? That I hopefully.